Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Psychophysics. I'm pretty sure you all must have loved our previous videos and I'm expecting the same from the audience this time as well. So you must be aware that the Psychophysics team comprises of young adults full of energy. Here we are with a video on what is adolescence? What all happens in adolescence? What exactly is how do we deal in everyone in this adolescent period? So this is a series. So keep watching Psychophilic so that you know you get an idea about this mysterious yet known phase called adolescence. Adolescence refers to the period of time in our lives where we experience a major transit from our childhood while progressing towards our adulthood. The period starts from around the age of 11 and continues till the age of 19, which is informally and popularly termed as the teenage. So, what exactly happens with our body and how do we deal with it? Where to find reliable resources to understand ourselves? Well, here's a small glimpse. First, let's talk about physical development. Our body undergoes changes physically, which may be internal and external through a process termed as puberty. The hormones in our body are the causal factors. They make our bodies go through a rapid process of growth and development which ultimately make us fit for fertility. Notably, there are few striking changes pertaining to the sex of an individual which could be divided into two categories. First, primary sexual characteristics and the secondary sexual characteristics. So what are they? Primary sexual characteristics refer to the development of the organs which are responsible for reproduction. Whereas, secondary sexual characteristics refer to the development of features which support the primary sexual characteristics. So, what are they? How do we find out the difference with our body? So, in general, in male, the primary sexual characteristics include enlarging of the penis, testicles growing, and sperm production. The secondary sexual characteristics in male include number one, facial hair, which refers to the beard and the moustache, number two, growth of hair in various parts of the body, number three, muscular development, number four, broadened shoulders, number five, development of Adam's apples, which leads to the deepening of voice. In females, primary sexual characteristics include ovulation and menstruation. Whereas secondary sexual characteristics include development of breasts, broadening of hips, increase in fat deposition, growth of hair in various parts of the body, and also the voice becomes more shrill and high-pitched. Now that we have a really good idea about the physical development, why don't we look into the psychological development? You really think puberty will spare this aspect of growth? Definitely not. So here are some pointers that we must note. Number one, the ideal self and the real self. So the ideal self refers to the image of the self that an adolescent dreams of or creates. For example, you want to be like your celebrity or you want to be like that cool kid from your school. On the other hand, the real self is what you truly are. Sometimes they both may not match, which is very common during the adolescent phase. Since we cannot really determine or stabilize what we want, this is very common to happen. So nothing to worry about it, just accept it and that there will always be a difference and it's going to occur quite often and it's completely normal for you to experience this. Second one is going to be establishment and maintenance of the identity. So now that you know the difference between the ideal self and the real self, what's the next part? You will definitely look into what you want and what you are in life. Are you going to be that introvert? Are you going to be a nerd, a sports person? You strive hard to create an identity for yourself. Third is going to be your abstract thinking. Okay, so how many of you found that you're able to understand the concepts taught in geometry better when you're in high school more than your middle school? Ever thought why? Well, it's because of the development of abstract thinking wherein we can think beyond what is actually present and try to find ways to solve a situation beyond the boundaries. So, now that we saw abstract thinking, what do you think would be the next one? Of course, the number four is introspection. 
So how many of us started maintaining a diary when we were in 6th grade? Wasn't it funny and interesting? What is the process behind it? We look into our thoughts, feelings, emotions and reflect upon them to get a better understanding of ourselves, right? This process is called as introspection. The last aspect is the ability to accommodate various viewpoints. So over time, we tend to have a large group of friends and not many of them think the same way, right? We still mingle well and do not pick on each other for every statement, right? You wonder why? This is because we reach a level where we accept that each of us will have different viewpoints and that it is important for us to accept the same. So with this, we have summed up the development phase under the psychological domain of an adolescence. With this, we come to an end of this video where we cover the development aspects of an adolescence on the two major domains, physical and psychological. I'm pretty sure you got the gist of this entire map of this adolescent series, right? So keep watching Psychophilic so that you get more and more information about adolescent space. And also, when you go through the space, we'll make sure it's at least. And before I forget, like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you guys!